Meg is here now with a look at sports and uh, lots of NHL action today and a lot of them having or some of them having a big impact on the standings. Yeah, it was a bit of a stressful Sunday for all the teams involved in the Western Conference playoff race. The 7th through 10th place teams were all in action tonight and let's start in Colorado. There's a breakaway for Renny Bork. Bork it all alone. Boot on Rodman. Exciting start for these teams. Second period, Ole Jokinen is in all alone in front, and he jams it past Peter Budai, one nothing Flames. Halfway through the third, Jerome Aginla in with Alex Tange. Aginla passes just in time for Tange to snipe his 21st of the year. Five minutes left, Avs down 2 nothing. Milan Hayduk is in perfect position to get the Avs on the board. And seconds to go, Colorado net empty. One last chance for Ryan O'Reilly. It's a no-go. Flames win it 2-1. Chicago in eighth place and wanting some security against the Lightning. First period, Vincent LeCavalier gets the feed from Martin St. Louis, and it's 1-0 Bolts. And a scary moment for the captain. LeCavalier takes a stick to the face, just misses his eye. Backup goalie Mike Smith shows some good form on these. Three of 31 shots on the night. He'll get first star for these efforts. And this is why you keep your head up. Steve Downey gets rocked by Brent Seabrook. A bit of pushing, but that's it. The Lightning beat the Hawks 2-0. Stars and Ducks, Anaheim breaking in. Bobby Ryan with a spin move to set up. Ryan Getzlaff, 1-0 Ducks. Late in the first, now tied at 1. Brendan Morrow finds Mike Ribeiro at the far post. Stars take the lead, 2-1. Now 2-2 in the second. Jamie Langenberger finds Morrow in the high slot. Stars now up 3-2, third period. Stars up 4-3 now. And the Ducks with the extra man. Francois Beauchemin gets it to go in, but there's goaltender interference. Now a minute left in the game, and it happens again with a hand pass. No goal on that one. Stars win it 4-3. The Oilers have almost secured 30th place, but the teams fighting for a playoff spot are in for a tough battle. Here's what the West looks like from 4th to 10th place. Only seven points separating these seven teams. Calgary only has two games left to make their mark on the standings. All the other teams on the board have three and four games. And there were four other games tonight. Rangers needed overtime to beat Philly 3-2. Buffalo beat Carolina 2-1 in extra time. Detroit wins their ninth division in ten seasons with a win in Minnesota 4-2. And St. Louis powered through Columbus 6-1. Canada had just one game to worry about today at the Men's World Curling Championship. Smooth sailing so far for the Manitoba boys. After winning the Briar, Skip Jeff Stoughton said, we've just won the most difficult event. What's left is the most important event. And that's it, the Worlds in Regina. Team Canada got off to a fast start after winning both games yesterday. Today, they face Team Germany, skipped by Andy Kapp. Tied at three in the seventh, Stoughton drawing for two. He doesn't like it right away. The brushers don't even touch it. It looks heavy, but the stone bites late. Stoughton gets his two. Germany failed to produce a multiple point end in the game, just singles. Canada kept them in check. This was one of Stoughton's best shots. Coming in the eighth, a gorgeous double takeout, and it forces Cap to settle for another single. Canada nursing a 6-4 lead in the tenth. Germany with the hammer, Stoughton's last stone, trying to thread the needle, pinpoint accuracy and getting rid of that yellow. Canada sitting four. Can Cap produce a miracle shot? He needs two. No, he can't do it. Steal of one for Stoughton. Canada improves to 3-0 with a 7-4 win and they lead the standings. The best junior B hockey teams in Alberta wrapped up the season in Leduc. The defending champion Beaumont Chiefs were back in the big game, answering the challenge laid down by the Black Falls Wranglers. Early in the first, Beaumont's Richard Ursulak lays out Kyle Moss with an open ice hit. Later, Chiefs make a brutal line change. David Janzi takes advantage, moves in, and Moss strikes for the opening goal. One zip Wranglers. Then Moss gets loose on the breakaway, but he gets tripped up by a pair of Chiefs. He's awarded a penalty shot. Moss on the move. Now watch the puck. Chris Roy gets just enough of it as it rolls across the line. Moss thought he scored, but no. To the second, Moss helps to create another goal for Black Falls. David Janzi cleans up the rebound. Wranglers leading to zip. Ensuing faceoff, and Janzi is taken for a ride by Alex Belzevic. 
Bad, bad blood there. The Chiefs struggled on the offense. Aaron Lineker gets a good look, but the shot was not his best. Third period, Beaumont running out of time. Belzevic finds Jordan Smallwood with a great pass. It's a one-goal game, but the Chiefs could muster no more on the Wranglers. There's your new provincial champs in Junior B hockey, the Black Falls Wranglers. Edmonton is home to a powerhouse in women's ringette. The Edmonton Wham defeated the host Cambridge Turbos 4-2 in the championship final to claim their second straight national crown. Congrats to Wham. The Masters tees off later this week and the defending champ can't wait to get back to Augusta. Phil Mickelson entered the play tied for the lead with Scott Verplank at 13 under. His third shot from the fringe on the first hole. And this is going to go in. He chips in to take the lead. Lefty putting for Bird on nine. This is going in too. He sinks the 29-foot putt to move to 15 under. One shot back of the lead at the turn. Now on 11, Phil's second shot from 154 yards. He likes it. It lands seven feet from the cup. And he'll sink that one to take its share of the lead at 17 under. For Plank, neck and neck with Mickelson all afternoon. Third shot on 13 from 73 yards. He'll birdie that to tie at 19 under. 16th hole from 178 yards. And he sticks it to five feet. Birdie moves him to 20 under for Plank bogeys. Now 18, chipping for Bird. Mickelson wins the Houston Open and will head to the Masters, ranked number three in the world. Tiger is number seven. It's the first time since 1997 that Phil is ahead of Woods in the rankings. The Toronto Blue Jays could open the season with a sweep over Minnesota. It was Jose Bautista's bobblehead day, bottom of the six, and this will get some heads bobbling. Bautista bangs it out of the park. His second homer of the season make that 3-2. Twins leading... Same score in the ninth, John Rauch take by Denard Spann. It's a solo smack and he'll touch all the bases. Twins avoid a sweep by Toronto, 4-3 the final. The Major League season is just four days old and today we saw a rare defensive gem thanks to the Cleveland Indians. Bunts it towards Santana again. Diving yeah. catch made. They've got a double play. play. Maybe a triple play. Triple play. Throw to second. Now throw to second. Three. And that's a triple play. The Tribe turns the triple play. Great catch by Carlos Santana. Cleveland also won 7-1. Their final, they were only three triple plays all of last season. I don't know about you, but it seems a little early for baseball. I know you said it was only four <laughs> days into the season, but it just doesn't seem fair that they're already playing. It seems early for it here, but I guess if you have a covered dome, it's not so bad. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks, Meg.